Welcome to Metallurgical Engineering YouTube channel. Stay healthy and stay safe. Our today's topic is difference between ductile and brittle fracture. First of all we want to know that what is fracture in materials. Fracture is a separation of a solid into two or more parts under application of load or stress. Depending on the type of load, fracture, may be defined by tensile fracture, compressive fracture, shear fracture, fatigue fracture, creep fracture and cleavage fracture. Here we divide the fracture into two main categories. 1. Brittle. 2. Ductile. Ductile versus brittle material stress strain curve shown here. On example point of view, ceramic is an example of brittle while mild steel, aluminium, copper are examples of ductile materials. What is brittle fracture? Brittle fracture involves fracture without any appreciable plastic deformation. It is more catastrophic and has been intensively studied. For brittle material, cracks are unstable it means that crack propagation once started, continues spontaneously without an increase in stress level. On microstructure point of view, it shows like cleavage or river patterns in the microstructure shown here. Ductile fracture is a type of fracture characterized by extensive deformation of plastic or necking. This usually occurs prior to the actual fracture. The term, ductile rupture, refers to the failure of highly ductile materials. In such cases, materials pull apart instead of cracking. The majority of engineering metals experience moderately ductile failure. In uniaxial tension this failure mode has a characteristic appearance known as cup and cone fracture as you seen in the top figure. Ductile fracture appearance in microstructure is like dimple formations as shown in the microstructure shown here. Here you see the ductile stress strain curve and micro mechanism of ductile fractures. When ductile fracture occurs in a material after plastic deformation, void nucleation, void growth, and void coalescence occur microscopically in the material. The narrowing, or, necking, indicates that there has been extensive stretching, or elongation, of the grains of metal in the reduced area, particularly near the fracture itself. As pointed out earlier, shear stress dominates deformation and ductile fracture. In most cases, the 45 degrees plane of maximum shear stress components is not obvious or readily observed. A tensile cup and cone fracture originates with many tiny internal fractures called microvoids, near the center of the reduced area. These voids occur after the tensile strength has been attained and as the stress, or load on the test machine, is dropping toward the fracture stress. A ductile fracture starts near the center of the reduced section in tensile loading and then spreads outward toward the surface of the neck down area. Before the fracture reaches the surface, however, it suddenly changes direction from generally transverse to about a 45 degrees angle. It is this slant fracture, frequently called a shear lip, that forms the cup and cone shape characteristic of many tensile fractures of ductile metal. This slant fracture is useful for study of many fractures, for it represents the end of the fracture process at that location. Tensile fracture of a relatively thin section of a ductile metal may be entirely slant fracture. As the thickness increases, however, the percentage of slant fracture around the central origin area will decrease, sometimes resembling a picture frame, on a relatively thick rectangular section. Here you see the difference between ductile and brittle fracture. First figure shows the highly ductile fracture, second one is moderate ductile fracture and last one is showing the brittle fracture. The main difference is that brittle fractures occur with no apparent deformation before fracture, ductile fractures occur when visible deformation does occur before separation. Here I have listed some difference between the ductile and brittle fracture at different aspects. From metallurgical aspect, brittle fractured happened in material having large grain size with grain boundary particles while fine-grained material without grain boundary particles in case of ductile materials. Brittle fracture happens at lower temperature while ductile fracture observed during at high temperature. There is triaxial state of stresses observed during brittle fracture while absence of notch is observed in ductile fracture. Brittle fracture is happened at higher strain rate and ductile fracture is observed at lower strain rate. Generally BCC and HCP metyl are brittle while FCC is ductile metyl. If you know the reason, please write your answer in comment section. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you liked it and please subscribe our channel for more videos.